Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, my name is April Newly Me. I'm a housewife in California. In my vlogs, I take you on my day-to-day -day antics, let's call them that. And I also update you on what's going on in my life, which is right now infertility. As you can see, I just have my morning coffee. We're actually going to be going on another staycation. I feel like every time I do a vlog, we're going somewhere for the weekend, but that's just our life right now. Having a very fun-filled summer, which is really cool. But we're going to be going to San Diego. Babe just said she wanted to do something romantic, so that's what we're doing this weekend. I did order this new dress. It's, it's so cute. It's like um baby doll dress so like on top it's black and then the bottom is leopard and then it has this little leopard print belt something you know cute and simple i got from amazon i'm gonna try that on today i ordered another dress because we're supposed to be doing two things supposed to be a romantic dinner and a nice brunch that was supposed to be for brunch because it's nice and casual and then i got more of a like cocktail style dress but amazon be tripping they mark it as prime and then this morning we got a email saying it wouldn't be here to the 20th which is like three weeks away so it was like amazon get it all together so i canceled that order so me and tony are probably going to go out this afternoon after she gets off of work to look for something another dress for me and also she wanted another polo shirt so i'm gonna handle that yes i'm talking to y'all in my bonnet monique would have a cow but i don't like her anyway more besties so if you're new here, I'm not one of those YouTubers that gets dressed just to get on camera or puts on a full face of makeup just to sit and talk to y'all. That's not, to me, that's not real life and I'm not trying to perpetrate like I'm really an actress or I'm on TV, I'm on YouTube. So fertility update, y'all. If you guys are new here, I am going through a bit of infertility. We're not gonna do IVF first. First, we wanna try the regular insemination type of way and i just found out that the trigger medication is covered by my insurance i have to take a pill and then i also have to take a self inject injectable which scares me to death but the pills are covered under my pharmacy benefits which is great because they're very expensive the injections are covered under my medical but they need what's called a prior authorization which is fine i'm a medical biller i know the whole process you know whatever call my doctor's office let them know you know this is the number you need to call they need this that and the third please take care of it i'm trying to use as much insurance you know as i can you pay for insurance you want to use it so the nurse emails me back and she's like oh sure yeah we'll take care of that that was a week and a half ago so she emails me yesterday and she was like i just want to know if you guys are still interested in moving forward which confused me because it's like first of all if i would who's just gonna lose interest that's that's number one and if i did i would you know tell you tell the doctor's office two i'm waiting on you heffa like i gave you information to do something and i was like do you know the status of the prior authorization and her response to that was oh that's not my department i don't take care of that a what are you talking about your doctor's office i hate when you go like and you use businesses and and i've been in the situation too where i used to work a nine to five and it's not necessarily something i take care of but my response will be you know what i don't usually handle that but i can direct you to so and so who does or here's the number of this department they take care of that like i would actually try to help for her to be like oh, i don't take care of that well you would know better than me who does in your office that does take care of that. that's number one number two when i gave you the information a week ago you said we'll take care of it indicating that either you or someone would be taking care of it it wasn't oh i don't take care of that so i'm trying very hard not to run up on there and split her wig I'm, I'm verbally, I'm really trying not to because I just find that to be super annoying and counterproductive because a whole week has lapsed going into two weeks and this is a time sensitive type of thing and you obviously dropped the ball. Mistakes happen. Everyone's human. Mistakes happen. She could just simply be like, you know what? I'm so sorry. I'm still working on that. Even if she didn't start, you know, but to say that's oh, not my, it's not my deal. That just irritated me so i kind of like i didn't go off in the email but i kind of just said what i said in a nice way like you told me we and i'm the type y'all i will uh forward you back the last email highlight stuff blow it up circle it if that's not your issue or your department why did you say we we be taking care of it you feel what i'm saying 
So I kind of did that too, and I'm waiting here for a response, but yeah, that just rubbed me the wrong way. Anyone that goes through fertility, y'all, check on your friends. Like your friends that you know that are going through fertility, please check on them. I'm sorry, it's like a glare, the window's open. But like, this is the most, my emotions are like up and down, up and down, up and down, because one minute I'm happy and excited, the next minute I'm like worried and anxiety kicks in and it's like all the what ifs kick in and it's like, so I'm really trying to stay positive and sane and not flip out. Also on the home front, unfortunately we will be staying in this box um, until the end of the year, just because here in California, the prices of houses are just ridiculously high. And I'm not even talking about big houses, y'all. Like I'm a realist. So we first started the process like, I want a detached house, you know, that's going to be the average house in California. And I'm not playing is um, 875K, pretty much a million dollars, almost a million dollars. We start looking at condos, two and three bedroom condos, y'all. And those were like six and 700, six and 700K. And it's like, why would I want, first off, I'm not a condo fan. Condos to me are just apartments you own. They're shaped like apartments. They're built like apartments. They're not detached. You're on top of someone or on the bottom of someone. To me, it's an apartment, okay? It's an apartment that you can own. No shade to anyone that owns or lives in a condo. Do you? I'm not doing it. I want a actual house where I don't share walls with anyone and it's actually detached. It's an actual house. I can even do a townhouse, but I, I, I cannot... Condos to me make no sense. All these places are not, they're small. They're pretty much the same size as we have now. And the main reason why I do not like our apartment is when you move from a house, a three bedroom house to an apartment, there's stuff everywhere I cannot organize. It's very dysfunctional. That's why I don't show this apartment that much because I don't, I'm not proud of it. I'm not happy, of, happy with it. Tony is of the mind that she wants to get out the apartment. It's silly to pay rent. We can pay mortgage, which I agree with, but she's more or less like, oh, we can move, you know, into something smaller. And then in two to three years, we can move again. I'm not about the moving life. I don't want to move anymore. I'm sick of moving. Moving is a pain in the butt. I hate packing. I'm the type of person that will give everything away or throw it away before I pack it. I hate packing up a house. None of the moves that we've had have been easy, smooth. They've been stressful. I just don't like moving. And I'm of the mind that I would rather grow into a house, um, get something bigger with maybe more space than we don't need currently and grow into it versus having a house that's too small and us having to move in two to three years. That's not, ideally, I want our next house to be our house, period. I don't want to move anymore. You stole my heart, what is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors. Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the others. Set my world on fire You're my heart's desire I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you Just Here is the outfit This will be in my Amazon store This I got off of Amazon, not too expensive This purse, which y'all saw in my last haul I've been wearing it non-stop and I was gonna put my hair in a bun, but it just honestly looked better down. So we're gonna do this. Date night, got my cute little heart bracelet on and I'm gonna be wearing um, those shoes. So yeah, this is the outfit. Me and Tony might be making or taking pictures. And let me show y'all my mini face beat. So we're in the car. Tony will not tell me where she's taking me. Dinner is supposed to be this big surprise. I think I did so good on my face, y'all. I'm so like proud of myself that I'm not a makeup person, as y'all know. But NYX, I'm telling you, NYX is bomb. So I will tell you guys or show you guys when we get into this um, restaurant I'm not supposed to know of. I'm so excited. I got roses. Do I get to take those? I'm taking them. Wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay or 
take me away I want you for myself every single day You set my world on fire You set my world on fire I don't know what I'd do without you Greetings from San Diego. I'm gonna show you guys the view real quick. Look at how pretty it is here. So pretty, this was all lit up last night and it was so pretty. Here are my roses, aren't they adorable? Just beautiful. So y'all, last night was completely crazy. Excuse me and my robe, I just got out the shower. So I just thought that Tony was like, you know, trying to take me out for a nice weekend, which she always does. Y'all know we do a lot of staycations, especially this year. But as I was showing you guys, like she took me to the Melting Pot, which is like a really cool restaurant. If y'all have never went to the Melting Pot, treat yourself. It's a really good restaurant. And I was showing you guys the table and the flowers, how I had the rose petal petals. And then she busted out y'all with a ring, which is actually an upgrade from my wedding band. Look at how beautiful that is. It's three diamonds on the, in the front or on the top and then diamonds all the way around. Y'all, the clarity on my diamonds is not doing justice. It's so sparkly and the clarity, and that's what people don't get. You can have these big tower rings. If the diamond is cloudy, you can't see through the diamond. No disrespect to anyone, but like, yeah, make sure that your diamonds doesn't matter how big, how small, they need to have the clarity. That's what really counts, but enough me bragging about that. But I was completely like taken off guard and surprised because I did not, first of all, I'm nosy, okay? I don't know how Tony was able to go get the ring or hide the ring in our house because I'm just nosy, naturally. I'm like a FBI slash CIA, CSI type agent. That's crazy that she was able to pull this off, but last night was just so romantic and perfect. I'm having such a good time. Today, she's taking me to, we have brunch, and then I think we booked a boat ride at sunset, I think. Y'all know how me and Tony love being on the water. And it's the the temperature or the weather here is so much better than it is in Santa Clarita where we live. We checked last night and it was like 106 degrees. My mom put in our um, family text, it was like 106 degrees. Chow here was like 78. <laughs> it does not make sense that we are only like three and a half, four hours away from home. And it's that because we're closer to the water, the temperature just drops and it, it feels so good here. Like. I love California, but in certain spots, like when it's freaking summer, you don't want to be there. Like if you live in Arizona or Texas, like you feel me. I feel y'all. I'm so sorry. We be going through it. Yeah. So I'm super excited. I'm just going to, oh, I'm going to tell y'all. So oh, if you follow me on Instagram, you know, I've been like begging people. See, it's only 749. I've been begging people for like skincare routines because my skin has been acting up all this year so i finally bit the bullet and got this tula skincare i just got the traveling pack size or the traveling size just because i wanted to see if i saw any results it has been working for me i don't care for the smell of the actual face wash and this one is the cult classic purifying face cleanser this has a very strong smell. It says fragrance free they are a whole lie this stuff smells very strong it works like it's doing good on my skin, but it's very strong. Then I go in with the, this, which is the Tula Great Tone Probiotic Toner. Then I do the serum for like any dark spots. And then I go in um, every day and night with this 24 seven moisture cream. It's been doing okay. Um, it came like this little set and that little pack. Yeah, I know I love little pouches like that. But child, this was like $52 and it's just the traveling size. So yeah, we'll see how long I think this. But it does, I just washed it when I was in the shower. I'm sorry to not let me to put y'all up my nose. But I just washed it in the shower. So now I'm going to go in with the toner and then the serum for like my hyper pigmentation I have. And then I'll do the moisturizer. I love the moisturizer. The moisturizer is legit. 
but I've been doing this for just a week and a half, so we'll see how this goes. I want to give it a full 30 days to see if I feel, see any results. I feel the results. Um, not sure, sure. I see this hyperpigmentation that I see the results, but again, it's only been like a week, week and a half. So we'll see after 30 days if I purchase the full size. Hopefully that'll last me 30 days. I'm very heavy handed with when it comes to soap, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, just wanted to give y'all that little update on my skincare. And I will check back in when we are at brunch and show you all. My life was great till you added colors. Like the moon is the snow, we don't care about the others. You said. I just wanna love